Welcome again to Aspiring Gent. Today we are going to tackle how to slim down your dress shirts. Now I got a couple of these that I had thrifted and I love the fabric and the pattern and the colors and everything about it, but they're just a little bit too big. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that without having to do darts, but going all the way through the body and into the arm. So here's the shirt. As you see, it is a little large in the arm and the body, but the two key areas are fitting well in the collar and the shoulder points. And as long as those fit well, you can make the rest work. So what are we gonna do? We're just gonna mark it up like we've marked our other shirts, our t-shirts and other videos in the past. Um, so I'm gonna do that right now. So after you have it pinned, you're ready to sew, but it is very important if you haven't seen one of my other videos, is when you're pinning in the body, you wanna take it on both sides. Cause if you just do one, you can end up doubling it on the other side and taking it in too, way too much or not enough. For the sleeves, because they're not dependent on the other one fitting well, you only have to mark one. So with our shirt nicely marked and pinned up, careful, you might lose a few pins along the way. You're going to take your roller or tape measure and we are just going to measure across how much needs taken in so it's about an inch up into the armhole inch and a half in the body inch and a half at the bottom inch at the end in the arms going inch and a half in the arm the beginning straight down to about an inch and a half down to the mid arm and then we're going to taper it down to nothing so it might help to write these numbers down so that you can know exactly where you're going. Or what I do is I leave one side pinned and I work on the other side. Important to note that you want to measure your other side as well because if they're very, so if you're only taking an inch here and it's two inches on the other side, you want to make those equal the same amount. So you either have to add and subtract, but you want to make sure that you're taking the same amount on both sides. So this one looks pretty good. Just gonna add or subtract probably like a fraction of an inch. So now we're gonna take this over to the iron, press out one side, mark it, and then get ready to sew it. So what we have done here in the prepping stages is starting off by taking out the stitching on the shirt sleeve. This is only the one side closest to the flap, the edge, but you just wanna make sure you have enough to taper your seam right into the edge of the cuff, which we have here. And then as we go along, we end up pressing all of the edges flat so that the seam is laying right on the edge. And then once you have all of that pressed flat, you're going to convert your measurements onto the sleeve. So measuring for me about an inch and a half up in the sleeve, going down into an inch into the armhole, going back down into an inch and a half into the body, and then an inch down at the bottom. We're gonna take that, mark it, and connect the dots. If you're working with a very light colored shirt where the chalk does not show up very well, you can just use pins in the spots on where you measure and kind of connect the dots that way, or you can take some hand stitching thread and you can base the seam. Now we're set down on the machine with our white thread in or whatever thread is matching your shirt. Uh, I have the stitch setting set to about a three. Uh, that way, if we have to take anything out, we can. You can have it at a two and a half, that works as well. So all we're gonna do at this point is just put it underneath the machine, follow the lines we created, and there shouldn't be any issues. We're gonna try it on. If it works, we're gonna finish it up. If not, we're gonna take it apart and redo it. So I was sitting here thinking, there are a few ways that you can clean this up if you're taking in a lot of fabric, because you don't just want it bulging in there, then it's gonna make it look weird on your body. So I was like, well, normally how I would do this is I'd run it through my serger, I'd give it a nice clean edge, we're all said and done. Do a top stitch if you feel so desired. The other thing is I was like, well, with my home machine, I can do a zigzag stitch, which will also help keep the fraying at a minimum, or we could use pinking shears. But I was like, hey, so far all we've used is a straight stitch machine, so maybe that's all you're working with. So how can we go about making this not fray, but only use a straight stitch machine? And this is the idea I came up with. So what I did is I started cutting from wherever 
the inlay didn't look like it was too much in the bottom of the sleeve and then I cut off the existing, the excess fabric so that it was two raw edges leaving about an inch of inlay on the fabric past the seam and I went all the way down until the hem. And after I had that all cut, I took my iron and I started to press the seams in on themselves. So you just fold one in to the stitching and then you fold the other one on top so that it completely encases the raw fabric edges. As you can see here, this is what it looks like when you sandwich it and then you run it through the sewing machine and you top stitch it. And this will keep everything in line. It'll make it nice and clean while also only needing a straight stitch. But if you have a serger, if you have a zigzag option on your machine or even pinking shears, if that's all you have to you, use those as well. Now let's move on to pressing. So at this step, super easy. You just wanna lay your garment down. I'm using a tailoring buck and just pick a side that you wanna press your fabric to your seam to. Um, usually at the end of the cuff you can kind of see where it leans naturally. So this one wants to lean to the right side of the garment. So we're going to press this one to the right side and then we'll do the same on the other side as well. And there we have it. We have slimmed down our shirt. We made it look real nice. And with a straight stitch method, we make it completely machine washable without any fraying. Thank you guys for hopping on here. If you want to see other slimming tutorials on suit jackets, pants, um, or even how to just throw darts in it, check out my other videos. I'll have all those linked down below. But thank you guys for being here today. And I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you want to share it, like it, all of that helps out the channel tremendously. Um, and like I always say, if you have a question or request, please text me or send me any message on one of my social medias. Thank you guys. This is Lewis from Aspiring Gent, and I'll see you next time.